11th standard english students now we are going to learn about punctuation punctuation what is the punctuation so how we will do that punctuate the sentence if you have one sentence we have to use the correct punctuation marks okay so here what is the punctuation so what we will use the punctuation marks i have written here just what is the punctuation here the marks such as full stop comma and brackets used in writing to separate sentences and the elements to clarify meaning if we use the correct punctuation we can get clarify meaning to get clarify meaning okay so what are the punctuation here marks capital letters so what are the capital letters So what is the capital letters here? A, B, C, D. So beginning of the sentence, we have to use the capital letter A, B, C. For example, Sheila is a club worker. Small letter S. Yes. So we have to use the beginning of the letters capital S. Yes. So A. b c d so that's capital letters the punctuation first one okay next day, comma what is the comma that simple comma exclamation marks if we have exclamation sentence we should be used exclamation marks next question mark question marks uh, that the direct to indirect speech the interrogative that question marks we should be used okay the so question marks here interrogative question you can use the question mark apostrophe so what is the apostrophe so apostrophe here sure. that's simple full stop question marks again i have written here Uh, question marks question mark okay so question mark this one question marks so quotations yeah. so sorry okay question marks and question mark so that's differentiate don't get confused okay okay for example capital letters and comma exclamations and question marks an apostrophe full stop question mark so everything we will see that one by one here okay just i will give you an examples for all okay okay that the first one start with capital letters start with capital She is clever. She is clever. Okay. So here, this is a small letter. Yes. Okay. Now we have to use correct punctuation. So here, she is clever. Full stop. So there is no full stop. That also punctuation. So that the complete sentence after that we have to use one full stop. Then here beginning of the sentence, what I have used here, small letters, very small letter. So I have changed here capital. Yes. Okay, she is clever. Okay, one more example. he and i finish the work i will show i will show okay so otherwise that's no need here yeah. okay i will show that's no need he and i finish the work so this is 
punctuation this okay sentence the meaning is okay but there is no punctuation okay so what is what we have learned so here small letters the small letters instead of small letters you can use capital he and i finished the book he and i finished the book okay so he and i hyphen i change into capital letter so this is a uh, start with the capital so whatever the sentence the beginning of the sentence start with the capital so that's it should be very clear okay so next one a comma so comma how will you write comma for list of things if you want to use for list of things we can use the comma for example pencil book note chalk for example she bought a pencil book note chalk rubber we can use okay so that uh, for list of things if you consider that we can use comma okay so next one direct and indirect speech already we have learned that so when you are using the direct and indirect speech also you can use the comma for example she said to rahim comma then quotation marks start question mark okay that's it should be very clear so okay direct speech for one example Direct speech for punctuation here. <coughs> He said. He said. i would like to tell a uh, news okay so i would like to tell a news i would like to tell a news okay so this is there is no comma there is no punctuation here there is no punctuation okay see so here he said Come on, I captain would like to tell the news. He said, "I would like to tell the news." Okay, so that's all. Full stop. Clear. So direct speech and indirect speech already we have learned. So here, where we will use the comma? He said. So next, for list of things, and also for direct indirect speech, also we can use the comma. And full stop also necessary. Okay, and capital letter. So everything is include the punctuation marks. Okay, next one here, the exclamation marks. The exclamation marks. What is the symbol? Let's start. 
Okay, so here exclamation exclamation alas lost my pulse okay so exclamation mark or loss i have lost my pulse there is no full stop there is no comma so there is no punctuation totally so how will you change here capital letters we need we need one comma lost my pulse full stop okay Alas, so this is the exclamation mark. Exclamation means sorry that we have to explain to someone else. Alas, I have lost my first stop. So there is punctuation marks. Okay. So next one question marks question marks question marks this time and then end of this word question mark okay so you can learn that question mark where is your car he said to me where is your car he said to me Where is your car? Okay, so this one. One question mark. So this is question marks. Question mark separate. Question marks separate. Okay, just we will learn that. Okay, full stop. We know that. Full stop. I have seen this film. I have come here. Full stop. That's all. I came yesterday. I went yesterday. So first of the complete meaning, the first of the end of the word. Okay. I have come here. So here present perfect I have used. I have come here. Full stop. I have come here. Next question mark. That question mark. I can ask question. What is your name? What is your name? What is the word is the name? So question. That is interrogative. What is your name? That's all. Okay, caps in beginning. What is your name? What's your address? Where do you come from? So everything can us. So this is punctuation. Students, this is very simple. We can easily identify that punctuation. We will come for that vocabulary testing seven words question marks. This is very important. I hope you all understood the punctuations. Thank you, students.